Hey everyone, so hopefully the focus is going to be a little bit better on this video than it was on my first attempt with the new camera. But this is going to be a relatively quick video on how to match up to your perfect drugstore foundation. This isn't going to be so in depth because it's just more about a little kind of trick that I find works really well. So first of all, of course, you're going to have to know your skin type and your skin tone and stuff like that. So I have done two separate videos on how to determine your skin type and your skin tone. So um, they're quite in depth videos and I will link to them below so you can go in and check those if you're not sure about your type. Because obviously if you're going to a department store, pretty much the makeup artists at the counter are going to do all that for you. So you can kind of go in there a bit clueless and leave um, you know, knowing everything. Whereas if you're going into a drugstore or a pharmacy or a chemist or whatever you call it, you pretty much have to do all the legwork yourself because the, most of the time um, there's not going to be too much assistance available to you. So you're basically kind of uh, choosing foundations blind, so to say. So what I would always say is, if you have the luxury of having a department store somewhere near you, take advantage of that free service that they do where you can get colour matched. So go in, be upfront about it, don't pretend like you're going to buy products and then not in the end, just get your colour matched. They do it anyhow, so just go in, go down to a counter, tell them that you just want to match to your perfect foundation colour and then ask for a sample and be upfront at the, at the start as well and just say you want to have a wee sample to bring home, just to wear yourself, to see how it looks under different light and stuff like that. So if you can do that, because I know a lot of people don't want to pay for the department store foundations, bring your little sample then into the pharmacy, drugstore, chemist with you and that way you can choose a foundation that matches your perfect match perfectly. So it takes a lot of the guesswork away. Now another thing you can do as well is bring in a little sample pot. Now a lot of these pharmacies or drugstores will actually sell these empty sample pots. Take advantage of those and try and get a wee sample in for yourselves because like I said the lighting conditions in these shops tend to be quite poor so um, it is a good idea if you can to take it home. I know in the States you're lucky enough that if you buy a foundation you don't like you can bring it back for a full refund or exchange or whatever. We don't have that same luxury here in Ireland, UK, um, Europe so it's more talking to people from those countries where we are basically lumped with the foundation we don't want if it doesn't suit us. So do try to make sure that you have done some legwork yourselves. Um, if you do ask for or want to get a sample, it's probably always safer to ask just in case. I don't know, different shops might have different policies on it and some shops might, you know, you don't want to seem sneaky if you're trying to get a sample thinking that you might not be allowed one. So just try and see that first of all. Otherwise, if you can, even if you have a friend or a sister or a mum who has a foundation that matches you perfectly, but um, you don't want that particular foundation or there's something off something else but the colour is right, just bring a little bit of that in a wee pot so that you can just match it up against different foundations in the drugstore. So um, besides that, like I said, you just need to know your skin type and um, there'll be a different few factors you'll need to take in then when considering whether you need some block and stuff like that. But I am going to do a separate video on that. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks a million for watching and I'll chat to you all really soon. Slam guys!